All right, time for another solo overnighter in the woods. And I'm thinking this time we do a bucket list item. I'm thinking we bring out the military old school Y harness and limit ourselves to five items. Let's get to it. Okay, so we have our poles and we lash them with our bipod lash or shear lash. Before we set up our shelter, let's go ahead and talk through our kit items. First thing, we have our container. Common military style canteen with our MBC caps, canteen cup, and stove. Next we have cordage. We have number 36 bank line. And it's probably about a half a roll. It's more than I need for this trip. Next we have combustion, the Bic lighter. Boom, one and done. First time, every time. We're gonna combine this with our compressed fuel, Triox and ANE ration heating tabs. Now, not to confuse Triox and with 245 Triox in. We know how that movie turns out. Next we have our cover element or our shelter system. Now, this is actually three items, but I'm gonna count it as one. I have a trash bag, a 55 gallon drum liner, six mil in thickness, not millimeter, mil, M-I-L. I might use this for a ground pad or a moisture barrier. Next we have our military issue poncho. Yes, this is original. We're gonna use this for our shelter. And last we have our swag man roll that we're gonna turn into a sleeping bag. And last but not least, we have our knife. It's a full tang knife, 330 seconds in thickness, 1095 carbon steel, Scandi grind, Full tang, blade passes all the way through the handles. This is the Camp and Trail Corporal Kelly Edition by PKS Knives. Love this knife. As always, all the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One, my Amazon Influencer page, and two, my Self-Reliance Outfitters Influencer page. And if you're interested in Corporal's Corner merchandise, that can be found on Teespring. All three links are found inside my description box. Okay, so that right there is what I would consider an emergency kit or a bare bones kit. We cover everything. We have combustion, we have a container, we have cordage, we have cover, and we have a cutting tool. Now, the one thing I have not shown you yet is food, and we'll get to that later. And that also will fit inside that harness.
Okay, so our freestanding poncho shelter is in place. Plenty of room on the inside, no rain in the forecast. And the point of this is to block wind on three sides, top, this side, and that side, and allow the heat and smoke to pass around me, keeping me warm. So what I'm thinking right here is I want to place my fire in the front of the shelter. But here's the problem. The guide line is right here. So this is what I'm thinking. Take this guide line, pull it in an angle right along the same line or parallel with this part of the bipod. Get a second bowling, place it through that grommet, stake it down on this side. That way nothing's going to impede or be in the way of my fire, and there's no risk of it melting. If you like what you see here, please do me that favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. Then take it a step further, grab your cell phone, download the free YouTube app, and sign in. This will give you push notifications when my new videos drop. So the good thing is the water is moving, but the bad news is that it's shallow and I'm unable to actually get in here and get a full cup of water out. So I'm going to go ahead and dig this out deeper and theoretically the water should flow across this. Taking the sediment out, the water should clear up and then I can scoop a full cup out and then boil it to make it safe. Wild boar bacon bean stew. Got chunks of bacon. Oh man, this is outstanding. 
one of my favorite companies, man. Other than MREs, Stowaway Gourmet. Outstanding AF. Catch you all in a few. Mmm. Tell you what, that was some good stuff. Stowaway Gourmet. I mean, it's between 12 and 14 bucks a meal, but it's worth every effing penny, trust me. And they're lightweight, and I can get two of those inside that butt pack along with the items that you've seen, and it's bulging at the seams, but it fits. So I got two meals for the price of one. Anyway, um, some of you are seeing this video and you're looking at the timestamp on it. You're wondering, hey man, this is a shorter video. What's going on? Is he sick? Did he forget? No, I didn't. Here's the deal. Um, six or seven weeks ago, go back to that video. I believe it's titled, Solo Overnight, Building a Shelter on the Edge of a Cliff. I have a nice campfire talk. And I talk about possible end games or possibilities for my channel based on certain events um, go back and watch that campfire talk and all your questions will be answered yeah <clears throat> that's what i call a campfire all right some good news october 15th 16th and 17th i'll be at smoky mountain knife works in tennessee I'll be there with the infamous. Infamous means more than famous. The infamous Dave Canterbury of Pathfinder Survival. Also, Kevin Baxter, otherwise known as Salty Dog Outdoors. We'll be there putting on an event, doing some demos, talking about survival, how it pertains to overland camping as well. In my opinion, it's one of the neglected, neglected uh, niches. A lot of people think they have their vehicle and GPS, and we're out here just getting it. Well, what happens in the event of it breaks down or you have to walk from the vehicle? And that's what we're talking about right there. Mesmerizing. This time next month, all the leaves are going to be gone. It's going to be in the 20s, low 30s at night. Perfect camping weather. So, cross that bridge when we come to it. All I'm thinking right now is I'm going to hang out here and enjoy my fire. Reflect. Take a deep breath. It was fun while it lasted. Catch you all in the morning. Well, that sucked. Coffee time. Juan Valdez, always outstanding. Let's talk about our shelter, um, nothing spectacular. This is a bucket list item. I talked about that a while ago, about bringing the old school military harness out and doing an overnighter, so here we are. Standard issue from the late 90s, poncho, um, USGI. Um, the thing held up well over the years. Anyway, we had our Swagman roll for our um, sleeping bag and a ground pad that was nothing more than a 55 gallon drum liner that was six mil in thickness. We had our Campin' Trail Corporal Kelly Edition uh, full tang knife, our number 36 bank line, our Triox and not to be confused with 245 Triox in, um, combustion with our lighter. And for our container, we had our military canteens and military cup, along with our camp stove. And it turned out well. We had our dehydrated meal, our freeze-dried meal, which was the Stowaway Gourmet. And once again, all that fit in a butt pack. So this is something simple. This is a, an example of a bare bones or minimum kit. Um, you can make some variation of that and go out for the day and have a good time. And if you got stranded, you're simply doing nothing more than inconveniently camping. So with that, I'm happy. And there you go, sole overnight using a bare bones or minimum kit. Always outstanding. 
more great things to come. With that, all the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One on my Amazon Influencer page and two on my Self-Reliance Outfitters Influencer page. And if you're interested in Corporal's Corner merchandise, that can be found on Teespring. All three links are found inside my description box. Now please do me that favor, hit that like and subscribe button, and then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. And as always, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun. I'm going to catch you next time.